This tent-shaped fabric roof is the signature feature of the African Pavilion, the largest indoor habitat at the North Carolina Zoo. First opened in 1984, the pavilion once housed a variety of animals representing the forests of Africa. But the wear and tear of time and millions of visitors has taken its toll. So while the zoo awaits funding to replace this iconic structure, most of the animals have been removed and the building has been used for tropical plant displays. Susan Reddick of the zoo's horticulture division tells us about an upcoming violet show. The pavilion was changed to a tropical plant walk because the holding areas for the animals were deemed below standards by the USDA. The Violet Show is planned for this October, and we have uh, several display areas throughout the pavilion, and also we're going to have a river of violets for people to look at. It's really exciting to see all the different relatives of African violets, as well as the, a range and array of African violets. We have an online plant tour that people can click on our website so that they can print it off and have an identify 30 some star plants that they can look for in the pavilion and walk through. People come in here and they say, I'm really not a plant person, but this place is beautiful. And the people that do enjoy plants say, I wish I could live here, which is just thrilling for us. We're really, really pleased. While the zoo awaits funding to replace the African pavilion, the staff has found a wonderful way to utilize the building. If you'd like to learn more about the Violet Show or any of the zoo's other special events, please check out our website at nczoo.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney, connecting your life to wildlife.